An old age tradition returned to Murillo this weekend as the Royal Canadian Mounted Police musical ride performed at the fairgrounds for the first time since 2013. The show brought out hundreds of spectators who were eager to watch the officers and horses in action. Just Clement reports. For the first time in 11 years, residents had the chance to watch members of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police don red, ride a jet black steed, and perform a choreographed routine. <laughs> The equestrian performance, which has been a tradition since the 1800s, is meant to showcase control, timing, and precision. This year is the 151st anniversary of the RCMP and the 50th anniversary of Women in the Force, and while they celebrate those milestones, the RCMP will be performing 48 shows in Manitoba and Ontario. Saturday and Sunday's show featured 16 horses and riders, which Constable Andrew Briscoe says is less than normal. If there's a full troop, it's a 32 horse and rider show. This year we are at 16. Uh, it's, a, it's a different show with having fewer riders, but it gives us an opportunity to go with different moves and showcase different skills that different horses may have. So it's a, it's a very exciting show to be a part of. After the performance, visitors had the chance to meet with RCMP officers and their horses. We asked some attendees what they enjoyed most about the show. I wish I could remember all the names of the moves, but probably the ones where they were like threading the needle and interweaving in the middle. It was really impressive. I've never seen anything like it before. One of them turned into like, like a pinwheel. Oh, it was amazing. Never seen anything like it. Um, my uncle emigrated here a number of years ago, and so I, I knew about Mounties from a very young age. So to see them was amazing, and the show was, was great. The Murillo Fairgrounds saw around a thousand people each day, and Oliver Agricultural Society President Lindsay Kozlowski says it's overwhelming to see so much support from the community. Even with the hot weather warning, um, we had great crowds, great participation. We are very blessed to have such great community support. Um, people always show up for the Oliver Agricultural Society and the Murillo Fair, and we're always super grateful. Jessica Clement, TBT News.